started playing very early. Well, all of my family were musicians. So I learned a lot about music through my family, but it was mostly from listening. My mom bought me a Hyundai bass. I sat there with a karaoke machine because we couldn't afford an amplifier. And uh, I would play these tapes and I would plug in and I, I was off. So I really started learning about effects on bass uh, pretty early on uh, for the love of money with An Anthony Jackson. That's, you know, probably the most iconic, most popular jam there is. And you hear that, you're like, damn, that's a bass? I, I actually asked the guy at the music store, oh, you know that one song? You know, money, money, money. Um, what, what's that? And, and actually, the guy at the music store told me it was a flanger, but that is not true, it was a phaser. Phasing brings in a, a warmth and lush. It fills out the sound and it, and it creates a movement without you having to move. And it, it, it inspires different feelings, different vibes. I really dig the deep phase because you can go from seriously mild to, to really wild. crazy, like psychedelic. I mean, we're going deep right now, into the ocean right now. You feel that? Here we go, we're swimming. Listen to that, speed it up, slow it down, the feedback, and then we can multiply it. Or just to add a little bit extra. So one of the things uh, that is extremely important as a bass player using effects is um, to maintain the bottom end. Even though it's sweeping around and, and the waves are getting taller, it's still you can still hear the actual note. would recommend for for bass players who are just diving into the world of effects is just number one have fun you know figure out what your sound is uh, figure out what each pedal does figure out where it might work where it might sit well in whatever song you're playing it really does spark some very cool things <laughs> 